Today guys, we are going to be taking a look at all of the unreleased vehicles in the brand new contract DLC update in GTA 5. I know I'm a little bit late with this, but I still wanted to take a look at them, fully max them out, and see what these vehicles have to offer. So, let's start over here with the motorcycles. We have the Shinobi, the Reaver, we have the Zeno right here, we have the, we have the Comet S2 Cabrio, we have the Patriot Military Spec, we have the Bowler ST, we have the new version of the Granger, we have the I-Wagon, I believe, and the Yogua Custom. So these are the unreleased vehicles as of right now in GTA 5. And honestly, let's just hop on each one of them and see what's up. I'm not going to lie. So let's hop on one of these motorcycles right here. Let's open up the mod menu and let's just fully max the thing out. Fully max the thing out. Now I'm wondering, does this thing have any custom cool things you could do to it or something like that? Like some crazy thing that makes it worth all of that money? I'm just wondering because it's it's extremely expensive, but I mean it's a pretty nice looking speed bike It's honestly pretty fast We're gonna have to do a couple tests with this thing and the other vehicles as well to see what they're like But yeah, I mean this just in my opinion seems like a regular speed bike I'm not really seeing anything too special about it and let's see what the reaver has to offer Okay, I like that back seat. That's kind of cool. I'm hoping that they have some kind of cool new ability available for them. I really hope we can put the homing missile lock-on jammer on this thing. The thing that would be really cool is if we could remotely control these two bikes. That would be sick as hell if we could actually do that. Imagine you just see a bike driving down the street with nobody on it. Let's hop inside of the Zeno. I think this is an SSC Tuatara. I am not 100% sure, but it really looks like it to me but like i said i have no idea fully maxing it out in three two one boom okay that's pretty cool not too many upgrades from what i could see not too many but i mean it still looks pretty sick one thing oh my i need to look at this and i need a better view of this look at the carbon fiber that is stunning that is some really nice looking carbon fiber this thing's got some really nice carbon fiber baby i like that there we go now we got a speedometer let's see what kind of speed this thing can hit acceleration off the line not too great as you can see it does not just launch right away it does lose a bit of traction but it does skirt it is skirting we're probably looking at like 126 i would say 125 126 if we're lucky honestly i have no idea that <laughs> the runway just was not long enough for that but we'll test all of that kind of stuff out in another video see how great the cars actually are i mean it's a pretty nice looking car i like the interior in it as well i think this is a brand new interior as well nice job rockstar finally adding something different i like that it is going to be very expensive though i'll tell you that right now let's hop into this now i love this car does it have the exact same customizations as the regular s2 no it does not sadly sadly it does not that's that kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie so it's the s2 without being the s2 it doesn't have any s2 customizations from what i could tell like i mean even when you go to spoiler yeah it's 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 a completely different car in terms of upgrades so it's it's not gonna be the same at all in terms of that but it does have a drop top I will always be driving this thing around with the top down. It looks so ugly with the top up. I'm actually kind of shocked that we've never had a convertible Porsche in GTA 5. And now we finally have one. Now, honestly, the car I'm most hyped for is this one right here. The Military Spec Hummer. The thing I like about this is it actually looks like a beautiful H1 Hummer. I love that. Let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bully max it out. Holy shit. Let's take the livery off completely look at this thing this it looks like an absolute tank i actually cannot wait to drive this thing around and honestly fully maxed out i'm not gonna lie it's sexy it's a nice hummer i'm literally just checking every single vehicle to see if they have any like cool abilities or anything like that from what i could tell they don't but honestly i don't really care this thing is this thing is actually sick i cannot wait until this thing comes out in gta online that is gonna be epic all right let's jump inside of the new range rover Let's fully max it out as Oh. Oh, okay. So you could see that Christmas livery we got right there. Oh, okay. Kind of cool. Oh, I like that livery. The Space Rangers one's kind of cool. The Camel one's not bad. This one's not bad. The thing I like about this, uh, this car, or this Range Rover compared to the other ones, is the fact that 
it actually has a couple more customizations that I could see. It doesn't have a crazy amount of customizations, but it's still a lot more than the other ones. I don't really like the livery on it though, but I do like how you could drop this thing down to the floor. Like this thing is, is dropped hella low. It's actually got a really good launch. Damn, this thing's actually pretty damn good. It's actually not bad. It's it's decently fast, not the highest top speed, but the acceleration is amazing. It's fully, it's, it's literally stanced as well. I'm just wondering how much it's actually going to cost. Wait, is it even stanced? Yeah, it, it has a tiny, it's got a little camera to it. It's got a tiny little camera to it. But like I said, I don't know how much this thing is going to cost. I, I honestly have no idea what Rockstar's going to price this thing at. I mean, the other Range Rovers, all of them are less than a million dollars. So let's just hope this one is also less than a million dollars. The price is probably out there. I just don't know what it is, but I have a feeling it's going to be pretty expensive, which is going to suck. All right, let's hop into the new Granger. Let's max this thing out and see what she can do. Boom. Oh, shit. Yeah, this thing is next. It has a ton of customizations from what I could see. The livery, as you can see, looks pretty awesome. Let's actually scroll through some of the liveries for this thing right now. Liveries. Oh, oh, it's got a bunch. It's got a bunch. Ooh, this one, this one will be nice. When you go up into Sandy Shores, that one will be nice. I like this one. This one looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's. I like the racing stripes. I'm probably going to end up putting that on. Yeah, it's It's honestly a pretty damn nice looking car. This is a pretty nice looking vehicle. I'm not going to lie. Let's hop into the Audi. Now, I'm not sure which Audi this is. I, I feel like it's a Q7, Q5. I don't know. I don't think it's a Q8. But let's max it out. Here we go. In three, two, one, boom. Okay, so this thing has like no upgrades <laughs> it has like no upgrades okay no it has a couple upgrades it has a couple upgrades but i mean i kind of think the stock bumper looks way better than the competition one this one actually looks sick i'm probably gonna end up putting that one on yeah, okay so it does have some upgrades it's just the fully maxed out version makes it look stock that's the only thing let's throw the rally hood on it, it actually it actually never mind it, it doesn't have all that much now that i'm actually looking through it, it does not have all that much but let's scroll Ooh, a legendary motorsport livery. I like that. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Some pretty nice looking liveries available. I like that one. I like that one as well. I do like the legendary motorsports one. That one is pretty sick. That one is pretty sick. Oh, it's electric. Oh, it's the it's the e-tron. I didn't even realize that. Top speed wise, it, it's slow as shit. 91 miles per hour top speed. That's, that's not good. But I mean, it is an SUV. It is an SUV. It's not a sports car. Like we compare it to, let's see here. This is another electric vehicle. We take off in this thing and yeah, it just goes right past 91, goes up to about 112, maybe 112. But I mean, it's still a pretty nice looking car. All right. And we also have the Yogua Custom. Let's hop in this thing and max it out. Okay. Yeah. So this vehicle is Lamar's, I'm pretty sure. I like how it has like the body part of a peyote. Wait, is it? No, not the peyote, the tornado. What am I doing? Yeah, there it is. It's literally got the rear end of the tornado, which I think is kind of cool. He literally just smacked that shit on there. Nothing too crazy about it though. It has no customizations at all, except for changing the wheels. I wonder, can I change the color on it? We can make it look very cool. Let's see, let's make it electric blue. No, let's make it black. Hell yeah. Not the craziest vehicle though. I mean, it's cool. Don't really care for it all that much. I just like the rear end of it. That thing is sick. Uh, but yeah, these are all of the unreleased vehicles in the contract DLC update. The ones I'm most hyped for would be the Hummer and this new supercar and the Porsche and the Range Rover and the Granger. The ones I'm not really hyped for, the Yogua, if we get that, and the two bikes. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what the bikes offer yet, if they're going to be faster than all the other bikes or, or what. I'm going to have to mess around with them a little bit. This is literally the first time I've seen all of these vehicles here at once, the first time I've ever driven them. So I have no knowledge about any of the vehicles. All I know is what I like so far and what I don't like so far. And I like the supercar, I like the Hummer, I like the Porsche, I like the Range Rover, and I like the Granger. Those are pretty sick. Let me know down below in the comment section what vehicles you guys are hyped for out of all of the unreleased vehicles that we see here today. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming out upgrading these vehicles and testing them against other vehicles in GTA 5. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.